Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. It will be a weekly love reading for you to have a look and see what messages are coming up for you this week. What's coming up for Leos this week? Okay, it could be uh, someone under the sign of a Cancer coming in with the Moon card. could also be the past... Um, straight away, what I want to say, Leo, what comes to mind is you're comparing someone to someone from your past, I think. There's a lot of comparisons being made because some wishes are not being fulfilled. Okay, something that you're wanting or that you're needing, you're not getting enough of. Okay, Ten of Wands. Okay, the Reverie card reversed and Judgment. I do feel like um, I'm going to stick to what I said I don't know if it's judgment per se, but you're you're judging someone's behavior or character from someone from your past somehow. It might be an ex. It could be someone you were once connected to or almost were in a relationship with. But there seems to be some sort of comparison that's happening on a on on a on a consistent basis here. There's a lot of water cards, so I don't know if emotionally someone it just isn't doing it for you. You've got the reverie card and this is about like questioning direction. It's almost like the what ifs and I feel like you're doing that. Leo, it could be that something's happening and you feel you feel like what if you never did that or what if you had contacted them or what if you had responded or what if they were like this? There's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of questions coming up I think around you. I know this is reversed. But the fact that I'm seeing the Nine of Cups, the Wish card reversed, and this as well, you know, the question mark is upside down. So, and you keep, there is someone around you that you may keep judging. The Twin Towers, it could even be a Twin Flame, or it could be two people right now that stand as equals, um, as in... You have very strong feelings for two people romantically, so maybe this is what's coming up. Um, if it's not two people, then I feel, you know, for the most part, the Queen of Cups does represent someone of importance or a love attachment that is very strong. Uh, the Moon can be associated with past attachments, so this is why I say it's either a strong attachment that you still have to someone, that you still keep comparing everything and everyone to this person, you can't seem to let go of, um, Leo, or... If it's not the past coming in with the moon card, the moon is emotional anxiety. And then we see this door and you're sort of, it almost looks like a vortex to me. So I don't know if you're being sucked into the vortex here. It's like a black hole. Um, and when you get sucked into these thoughts, they tend to spiral out of control a little bit, Leo. But I do get the sense you're not getting what you want entirely with the nine of cups reversed. The Ten of Wands, maybe you're not as serious as you thought you'd be at this point in your life, at this point of your connection. And I think it's throwing you off a little bit. But I think there is a comparison. If it's not Leo, it's someone, if it's not you, it's someone that you're dealing with who keeps comparing their new person to you. So I think there's, there's a comparison. There's a comparison that's being made here. But I also think there's a lot of what ifs, there's a lot of questions about certain connections. And you're sort of opening up the door. It's almost like you're becoming more open or receptive to this person than you previously were. And I think maybe you're at a point where you're not where you want to be. And you would welcome a certain person back into your life because more and more you've been becoming more nostalgic. And I think as you've become more nostalgic, you've been revisiting the positive memories maybe more than the negative ones or the reasons as to why you disconnected from a person in the first place. They seem to be forgotten. And right now you're just remembering, you're highlighting the good feelings, the feelings where you felt like you were receiving affection and love and intimacy. And we all do this. It's the human condition. So it's only natural. Um, but as a result, you're, you could be opening up the door to the past here. And it could be through your actions that this happens. Could also be someone returning, telling you they love you. Can they offer what you want, though? 
If they couldn't before, what makes you think they can do it now, Leo? I think that's something you need to think about here with this um, with this Nine of Cups. So the the what ifs, the if onlys, the imagine if, the you know all of these big big emotional like um well how do you even call them? They're just you know, ghosts of the past, regrets of the past, remorses of the past, you know, a lot of that I think is coming up for you this week. So you may feel that heightened because there's a lot of imagination, a lot of imagination with the reverie card and you're opening the door to that with the judgment card. But I also think you're constantly comparing something to someone else. If it's if it's not you comparing a current connection to your past, it could be that you're comparing your love or where you are in a relationship to maybe your friends, maybe your parents, to maybe um, people that you know. And, you know, we are all on our own journey and we all walk our own path. And sometimes we forget that because it's so easy to compare and make a judgment. But really, everything that you see, like from other couples or, or um, uh, you know, it's it's not always what you see. Sometimes we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. That door is open. So this is only what they're choosing to show you, Leo. But you must think about the things that you don't see, the things that go on behind closed doors. So we must remember that. I think that's very, very fitting for you this week. But like I said, I'm I'm leaning more towards there's a lot of comparison going on to the past person. Um, to how someone else made you feel and then how this person makes you feel. Uh, if that's not the case, then I think it's the what ifs. The what ifs, big ones, big, big emotions here, Leo, coming up around you. I will leave your reading at that, though. So thank you again so much for tuning in.